dear representatives of uh, central banks and supervisors, dear participants to this uh, conference uh, organized by the Alliance uh, for Financial Inclusion. It's a pleasure to be addressing you uh, on the second day of your seminar and uh, to uh, be uh, there to be uh, thought-provoking for the rest uh, of the day. Uh, yesterday I had the pleasure to uh, inaugurate uh, the offices of uh, the Alliance for Financial Inclusion in Luxembourg and I would like to congratulate them for the excellent program that they have put together. Why did they chose Luxembourg? Why are we there? Well, we take inclusive uh, finance very seriously as we take uh, uh, digital challenges and sustainable finance, which is basically the three pillars on which we build the diversification and the future of our financial center. Now, we have also a lot of credibility in this area. We've been pioneers uh, with LuxFlag in having labels uh, for uh, inclusive finance uh, like uh, microfinance. Uh, we've also been a leader for green bonds in the Luxembourg uh, Green Exchange and we are one of the few countries that does more than 1% of uh, development aid compared to its GDP. So I think uh, we are quite credible in this area and uh, we want to stay that way. Now, if I need to describe the financial center in a nutshell, I would say that it has three main pillars. Uh, one is the investment fund industry, second to none apart from the United States, as we have uh, 4.5 trillion of euro uh, of assets under management. Second, we're obviously quite good in, in banking and insurance. And, and third, uh, we are an important uh, player in uh, green finance. So having that in mind you would say this is all of uh, the unique selling proposal of Luxembourg that would not be sufficient. I think there's two horizontal issues that we push a lot and that is the digitalization uh, of the economy and of finance in particular on the one hand and the other one is how can sustainable finance help us deliver on the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. In other words, uh, how can we, with sustainable finance, build a better economy, a more responsible one? Now, there's probably lots of recipes uh, around there. Let me give you the three principles after which we try to build uh, the competitiveness, uh, the innovation, but also the trust that you need to give uh, as a country if you want to be an important actor in financial services. I think first and foremost is predictability. That's what uh, investors need. They need to know where you want to go. And I can tell you one very simple thing. We are a AAA country. There's not that many left, less than 10 today. We want to stay a AAA uh, country uh, in terms of rating. Well, this is easily said, it's not easily done. You need to take lots of decisions, some of which are not very popular, to ensure that your public finances uh, are good. Uh, another one is you want and you need to keep your investment high uh, to ensure the quality of uh, services. And uh, so we have decided, despite the COVID crisis, to keep investment above 4% of GDP, quite a commitment. And uh, you know that money is limited, and uh, if you invest a lot uh, in, in such infrastructure, there's less money for other things that would be more popular. So, predictability. The second thing is legality, your legal framework. You also need to make sure that uh, players know that the legal framework is not going to change fast. And if it changes, there's grandfathering clauses. If it changes, you have uh, leeway, you have time in advance to adjust. We've done that uh, all the time in Luxembourg. We've been amongst the first countries, probably the very first country to introduce the usage legislation back in the 80s. So we were also among the first ones to introduce the Alternative Investment Fund Directive back uh, 2016. We're also the first one to apply existing legislation to cryptocurrencies. So the legal framework is obviously uh, also key. But that's not enough. In the end, you also need to innovate. Now, innovation 
is limitless. Digitalization helps you for innovation. You need to couple innovation with also cybersecurity on the one hand. It's part uh, of your seminar today. And on the other hand, you need to anticipate. You need to you be different than others. And that's what we've tried to do over all these years also on our financial center. We've just launched a couple of days ago a sustainability bond, the first one of its kind that uh, complies with the newest EU regulation on taxonomy in terms uh, of what is green, what is uh, compliant with climate on the one hand. Second, uh, we comply with the Sustainable Development Goals. You see that I wear this pin. I'm not a pin person, but uh, I've made an exception to the rule. And, and this one I really care for and we need to go for that. And we also comply in this sustainability bond with the IPMA principles, um, which have been around for, for quite some time. So if you take this triptych, you, you have a good framework how you can be a place where you combine cybersecurity, digitalization and sustainable finance. I hope what I've just said will help you guide your discussions. I wish you a good conference and all the best for the future.